Today, I'm announcing that the Stone Brewing Company is filing a lawsuit against one of the largest brewing companies in the world. My partner Steve Wagner and I started the company 22 years ago. At Stone, we've always prided ourselves of going our own way, being who we are and true to ourselves. We've developed into a unique entity that I am enormously proud of. And I feel so privileged to be a part of the larger craft brewing industry. So this heritage that we have spent so many years to build, well, it's being threatened. It's been threatened right out in the open. Perhaps they feel they have no other choice. Big beer has been flat or declining. And they've gone out into the craft beer world and made acquisitions. They found people who are willing to sell out, unlike us. They know they can't buy stone, but they can obfuscate. They can co-op our brand and our good name, or at least they can try. We believe that Miller Coors is intentionally and deliberately trying to create confusion in the marketplace with their Keystone brand. And that is why we're suing them. You can see it in their cans. You can see it in their packaging. You can see it in their marketing. They are being surprisingly bold with this. This is really disconcerting to hold this. Look at this. It says, stone light two words that you would never see together in association with our company they've been incredibly bold with their approach of just um with their marketing uh, grab life by the stones a stone this and stones that and sometimes they'll put a little apostrophe in front of stones but the bottom line is as you can see very clearly they are trying to just line this up and, and, and push the word stone. Hey, in the world of beer, the name stone is ours. Put this down for right now, I hope you don't mind. I'll uh, chill it back down and enjoy that puppy later. So why are we doing this? Are we doing this for publicity? No. This is a weird way to get publicity because it really doesn't talk about the attributes of our beer, which is what we like to do. So why am I doing this video? We figured you ought to know the facts. I don't think I've ever held a Keystone in my hand before. And I can tell you, I've certainly never even tried one before. Now, I'm a little tempted to uh, just, you know, crack this open, take a sip and do a spit take, you know, just, to, just for the cinematic beauty of it. Maybe you could have it in ultra slow motion as I go. But that's a, that's a little too, little too cheap, I think. The point is that there is an intentional obfuscation that they are trying to run, confusing uh, people with our brand. So our message to you, Miller Coors, is very simple. You can end all this right here and now by one simple move that reinforces your brand that you've built. Put the key back in Keystone. That's it. Stop using stone as a standalone word because when it comes as a standalone word in the world of beer, it's ours. We believe we are in the right. And so we are going to do what we feel we have to do. And we appreciate your support yesterday, today, and hopefully tomorrow as well. Cheers. Yeah, we actually had to go out uh, to a uh, store and, and buy this. Um, just consider uh, Miller Coors uh, uh, contributing to your legal defense budget. Good luck on that.